Now I'm going to show you how to how you knit with this pom pom yarn and how you cast on. You make a I've made a slip knot with the first little bit of the little bit of yarn, the little bit of yarn between the the fabric between each pom pom. So you you take the the next part, the next part of the, the yarn, put it on the needle like that. I'll put that needle down because it's getting in the way. Then you take that, that stitch off the needle, turn it round and put it on like that. And you do that twice in each, in between each pom-pom. You have to take it off. And turn it around so that's two stitches you make between each between each pom-pom so you put the, the yarn over the needle take it off turn it around so you've twisted that that stitch that you've got there put the next one on take it off and turn it around it still is a little bit awkward doing this, but there, put the yarn over the needle, take it off, twist it round and put the needle through it. So you're twisting the, you can see the twist in the yarn there, put it over, take it off and turn it round, over, take it off, turn it round. Over again, take it off, turn around. You have to do this with your fingers because yeah, you can't do this with your needle, it's a bit awkward. So I have one, two, three, four pom poms. I'll do a few more just to show how to cast on here. That's casting on and switching it round, over and switching it round, over. Take it off, switch it round, over, take it off, switch it round, and that's all I'm going to do for the, the sample, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, but the last one, you just put one stitch on, put one stitch on, turn it round, and there you're ready to knit and the reason you only put one on at the end is because you're going to start the next row with the single one so you knit as normal so you'll only have one you'll have one stitch at the start and one stitch at the end and get that pump arm out of the way so I can see what I'm doing so you take that one off like that and then onto your next piece of yarn gets a bit easier once you get started I'm trying to get the needle through the so you're knitting two stitches between each pom-pom is a bit awkward because these are a bit tight with you twisting them
Then we're on to that last single one. And the other half of that piece of yarn will be to start the, um, the next row off. It's a lot easier once you get past that first row with those cast on stitches then you just knit those two stitches between the pom-poms I'm using 3.25 millimeter needles because I find that's the best to This is a big ball that I've, <laughs> I've got in the way here. And there you can see the, the shape, the pom-poms taking shape there. I'll do one more row. You have to keep pushing the pom-poms out of the way when you're changing to the <laughs> to the different strands. So there that's the pom-pom taking place, taking shape. And as this is just a little sample where I'm showing you how to cast on, I'll show you how to cast off. We want to cast it off. You knit the first stitch, go to the next, next piece of yarn, cast off like you normally do, just take it over, but each stitch you're using a a separate strand for each stitch you're not using two one strand for two stitches now like when you're knitting so you just cast off as normal but each stitch you come to use a single strand don't use two on each one like when you're knitting And that gives you a little bit more room in between the pom-poms for the cast off so you don't have such a tight edge when you're casting off. And I've caught some of the thing with that one.
and that's how you cast off so you know you have a I can't <laughs> show much here because it's just a little sample but as you can see there's a lot more where the stitches have been cast off there there's a lot more room for stretch it's the same as if you'd sorted off you can't tell the <laughs> But that's how you cast off. You cast off with each stitch with one strand. You don't use a one strand over two stitches. So if you like that, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll show you next time I get around to anything else. So bye for now.